Before we get started on this video, I want to show you a little trick with the layer command. As I'm doing this video, you're going to watch me offset some lines. And when you do that offset, unless you know about this little layer command trick, you won't, yours won't end up looking like mine. So I wanted to show you this trick before we get started on this video. So um, in this video, I set the windows layer current and I start doing offsets to find the centers of the windows. And when I do it, and I do my offset, let's say six foot six for the first window. And I select my object and I bring it over. My line is gonna be green. Yours stays red probably. And the reason for that is whenever we do the offset command, it actually um, is just making a copy so it, of, of the object at a preset distance. So it keeps the properties of that object. So the, the source object is the wall, so the source layer is um, the wall's layer. So when I do this offset, it, it comes in red. It doesn't come in green like my windows layer. If I click on it, it's on the walls layer. I want to show you when I'm doing this video, mine comes in green, and that's because there's a setting within the layer, the offset command. So I'm going to erase this line. I'm going to do the offset command again. Before I get started, before I type in a distance, before I click on anything, if you look down here at the command line, we have this option for layer. You can type L enter because that's the capital letter, or you could click on the gray word letter, or you could do the down arrow on your keyboard to get to the layer option. And look when we go into the layer option, we have two other options. We've got current and source. Source is what it defaults to. That's the source objects layer, which would be the walls in this case. We can change that to current. The current layer would be the windows. And then if I select that, I have did my up arrow to go to current, I'll press enter. You could also click on the word current or you can type C enter because that's the capital letter in the command line. Now when I do my distance of six foot six, my windows layer is the current layer. When I do this offset, there we go, it comes in on the windows layer. All right, now that we've got our door openings defined, we are going to go ahead and find where our windows are gonna be and we will also place the windows where they need to go. So I'm going to set my windows layer current. So I'll click up here, pull this down and go to click on the word windows and you should see that the layer changed. Now we need to find where the centers of these windows are. So we're gonna use the offset command again. Like I told you, you're gonna be a pro at the offset command by the time you're done with this project. So we're gonna do the offset command. Again, don't click anywhere, don't do anything, just wait for it to prompt you. It's asking us for the offset distance and we can just start typing in the distance. I'm gonna start with that top window in the bathroom. So six foot six, press enter. We're gonna click on the very outside wall on the left and we are gonna bring that into the closet. Not the closet, the bathroom. Press enter to end the command. Press enter to start the command again. Now I'm gonna do that uh, window that is along the wall right here. So we've got an offset of five foot six. Click here and up. Press enter to end the command. Um, what I would do right now, because I'm about to get these um, windows down here, I like to trim as I go and um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to figure all of this out. Um, if I start doing too many offsets, there's gonna be a crazy grid of lines and then it's gonna be hard to tell which line represented which offset. So I like to trim as I go. So I'm gonna do the trim command. If you have an older release of AutoCAD, 20 or, 20 or older, <clears throat> the first thing you'll do is click on this line and then you'll press enter. Um, I'll show you which line. If you're in release 2021, we are gonna type in the capital letter T. We talked about that. We're gonna define a cutting edge. So, cap, we're, or the letter T, we don't even have to make it caps, but if we look down at the command line, it is the capital letter T telling us that's what can start the cutting edge prompt. So I'll type T, enter, and we're gonna select our cutting edges. So I'm gonna select this as a cutting edge and this is a cutting edge. Press enter. 
and then I can click on this bottom half of the line and this side of the line over here and it just trimmed those lines all the way past everything else it just went straight up to that cutting edge so those are just uh, defining where the center of my windows are I like to keep it nice and nice and trim like this uh, it's less confusing for me now I'll do one more offset of two foot six press enter click on the very right hand side and we're going to bring that in press enter again I like to trim as I go so I'm going to trim type T for cutting edge select this line the inside wall press enter and then I can click this line and it trims it all the way to that one press enter now that I've got this line there are three different windows down here so I'm going to do a couple more offsets so my offset command I'm going to type in four foot two press enter we'll select this line and we'll just bring it to the left four foot two now that command stays active as long as I have the same offset I can continue offsetting objects um, and my next offset is four foot two as well so I'm going to click on my new line and then I'll bring it to the left four foot two just click anywhere over there and that's it I'm going to press enter and so I've defined where the centers of those windows are if you don't trim it's fine if you don't trim for me I just feel like I need to trim uh, to kind of keep up with uh, what's going on here um, and not get confused with this crazy grid of lines all right so now we're going to draw the actual windows that are going to go in place so we're going to start with the rectangle command same rectangle command you use to start off drawing the walls i like to draw the windows off to the side over here you can really draw them anyway anywhere because we're going to move them into place just click anywhere to start and then we're going to type in the distance so we've got one window that needs to be 36 inches wide by four inches thick our walls are four inches thick so i'm going to type in 36 for the width along the x comma four press enter so that gave me 36 inches i'm going to click on it and zoom in so you can see click on it i'm just going to hover right here and just make sure you got it three feet 36 inches wide along the x four inches along the y i'm going to press escape a couple of times to deselect it and i'm going to draw a line we need to make sure that your midpoint o snap is on when you draw this line i'm going to snap from the midpoint on one side to the midpoint on the other side and that is what windows it's a pretty standard um, look for windows so we've got one window drawn i'm going to draw one more because we have two different size windows here this one again rectangle command click anywhere to start i'm going to type in 24 because it's 24 inches comma you could also press tab here and i'm going to make it four inches thick enter draw a line midpoint to midpoint press enter when you in that so I've got two different windows. I've got a three foot window and a two foot window. So I can come in here and just start moving these windows into place. The first thing I'll do is take that little window that goes in the bathroom. I'm going to select the move command and I will highlight the whole entire window. Make sure you get the line as well. Select it when I'm done selecting and I'm sure I've gotten all the lines and the rectangle, everything that I need. I'm going to press enter because I'm done selecting objects and again it helps to have your midpoint o snap one i'm going to click on that midpoint on the top line here really you could in theory click on any midpoint there but i'm going to snap to the top of that offset line now before i forget about it i'm going to select that little tiny line that was just a construction line to help me get my window in the center so i'll select it and i will erase it i'm going to click on that erase icon again you could press the delete key on your keyboard just make sure to erase it I'll come back down here to my drawing to my window and this time instead of the move command i'm going to do the copy command because all the rest of my windows are this big one so i'm going to say copy 
select your objects make sure you get all of it the rectangle and the line once you're sure you've selected all the objects you'll press enter because you're done selecting and you will select the midpoint again so I've got the midpoint here on the top and then I am just going to click on the top endpoint of all three click here click here click here press enter now I've got those windows perfectly placed. I'm going to select this object, select this object, and select this object to erase them. I'm going to press escape though. Um, I do want to show something, show you something. Now notice I have, um, when I'm selecting these, um, I am using the blue crossing window. So the blue window, when I'm clicking from the left and moving my mouse to the right, as opposed to the green one. When I do the blue one, this is a selection window. So anything that is fully contained inside of that window will get selected. So the, the window itself is not getting selected. The only line that's fully contained in my window is that vertical line that I'm using as a construction line to find the midpoint of that window or the center of it. So when I do this, I can select it. If you were to do the green one, this is a crossing window and anything that is even so much as like crossing through, if that, if that my green box touches a line, it'll be a part of the selection. So that's the difference between going from right left to right or right to left, the blue box versus the green box. The blue box will only select the objects that you uh, fully contain inside that window. So clicking here and here and here. By the way, when I'm doing those windows, I actually click once, draw the window. I've, I've let go. When I click that one time, I click and let go. And then I click again. If you click and hold, that's how you get this thing. If you click and hold your mouse button, you get that um, lasso effect. So the reason mine are rectangle and yours might not be is I click once, let go, click twice, and that makes a little window selection. All right, so I've got all of these. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here, but I think that's important information to know. So I've got all of these objects selected. I'll press the delete key on my keyboard, erase however it is you feel comfortable erasing. All right, we have one more window, but this guy's vertical. So what we need to do is the rotate command. So I'll come up here right next to trim is the rotate command. You can also type in RO, enter. And I'm gonna select my objects. When you're done selecting, press enter. Click anywhere for a base point. And we're gonna type in 90, 90, press enter. And I've just rotated that window at 90 degrees. I'm going to do the move command. Select the whole entire window. Press enter. Pick it up by the midpoint. Come over here. Snap it to the end point of that line. Get rid of this construction line. Again, I'm using my little blue window here. And that is it. Looking good. I've got all my windows in. All right, the next step, we're going to go ahead and put in our doors.